All right, guys, a quick video on this X3 Max on this build breakdown. We have a 2023 X3 Smart Shocks model, triple black, and we got some nice goodies on it. First, we're gonna start off with the doors. Still, in my opinion, the best closing doors on the market for the simple reason that they seem to pinch against the fender, not pinch, but put pressure on the, uh, the bottom seal here and it keeps everything from moving. Not only that, they look really good. They are actually the most expensive doors on the market. Money! But to me, they're worth it. Also, if you option it with the bags, the storage on these is insane. You could fit a 12 inch, 13 inch uh, laptop in these bags. No way. What? And then the rear, still a ton of storage. They also have knee pad bracing, as you can see there. Onto the cage, we got a UTV Speed, a shorty cage. This isn't a standard size cage. This is dropped down a lot, especially in the rear. It's got a bit of a fastback look to it. If you step back and look at it. If you like that shorty look, this is definitely a nice cage. They don't have this available on their website, but I can order it for you. UTV Speed Cage. Let me know, glifeutv.com. Hit me up in the emails down in the link below. This cage is pretty much outfitted with their standard uh, grab handles on all four C areas. And then we have a full windshield here. It doesn't actually go all the way to the bottom it's kind of from the tube upwards but it looks really good plenty of visibility from the driver's seat it's not too low i think this is probably the least you know size windshield i would go for anything smaller than that is too small in my opinion so this is really really good uh so a really short cage but not too short i like it cage also comes standard with whip tabs and on the whip tabs we have 5150 whips these are their 187s in two feet i actually have never installed a set of two feet and i'm really digging the look of these they just look right. So those two things, the cage and the doors, give it a drastic change in the looks department. Uh, other than that, the wheels, these are Metal FX Deltas, also available on the website. These are probably one of the nicest set of rims that are cast because they do the CNC cutting and give you that contrast look that you only really get with custom uh, forge wheels. These are a good option if you want that custom look without spending that custom price tag. We'll stick to the front. For protection, we have a UTV speed bumper. It is nice and uh, steep as far as the the ramp goes on the front there has the utv speed logo on the front and we have a set of lp4 sitting on top the best lighting company in my opinion still uh, baja designs and their lp4s are freaking awesome we have these on big blue and i absolutely love them up top we have a sa in a clear lens perfect for night riding and then some squadra sports on the mirrors or a pillar area always my favorite they seem to be the perfect lighting for visibility because it's kind of on your line of sight those are sitting on some mounts that come with the trooper Carver off-road quero pros these are one of my favorite mirrors next to the race mirror i really like the race mirror but the pros are also a really really nice mirror a little bit more affordable single mount they can fold in if needed and for satisfaction there you go now this customer also has a stage six audio system with two rockford fosgate speakers up front two in the b pillar and and then at the very back, these huge big eight inch, they don't even fit on the goddamn machine, <laughs> but they look really cool from far away. Actually adds to the looks of the fastback. And these have built-in LEDs in them. On the back, some other products that were already on the machine, a Can-Am ice chest. And then in the back also, we have a chase light. And that one is mounted to some tabs that are built into the cage. And the thing is wired to the Switch Pros. So here we got a Switch Pros with the geyser mount, both available on the website. Oh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this for you guys. So a quick rundown we have the lp4s on the bumper we have the sa on the hood the lights here on the mirrors i put them as a pillars the chase the chase lights already on as soon as you turn the car on but that will cycle through the modes and then because he wants to be able to use his radio when the machine is off we do have a radio button that will turn on the radio whether the key is in or not uh we'll skip that one for just a second here we have dome lights we have two dome lights from doom gear the best dome lights on the market on the machine and then of course the whips this actually powers not only the whips but we have 10 rock lights in this machine four in the interior three in the front and three in the rear and we'll put a quick clip that i put on instagram uh if you guys aren't following me on instagram do that now there's a link down in the description and then the last thing that i think you guys are gonna think is pretty cool and i want to do a future video on how to do this but that is this rpm eval that i installed we now have it on the switch pros Ta -da! And a lot of you guys have asked me in the past, I know. I will do a wiring video on how to wire the E-Valve or Shocker to the Switch Pros on another video. But as you can see, that works perfect. 
and it sounds perfect. Shout out to RPM. That's it for this video. Just a quick one for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And last but not least, I gotta give a huge shout out to my Patreon members and to the guys that are joined here on YouTube. You guys go the extra mile and I appreciate that. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.